Okay, so I thought today would be a good day to tell a story because I'm just hanging out after drama rehearsals. Now I don't have anything better to do. And sorry for the beep in the background. I don't know what it is. No, it won't stop. It's driving me crazy. But that's not the point of this video. Um, I wanted to tell a story. Um, about, I want to say two years ago. I was around 12, maybe 13. Uh, I met a guy on Facebook. He had like one of the surprise Patrick memes as, as his Facebook profile. So I just kind of friended him, not thinking about it. We had a lot of mutuals. And we, he randomly messaged me and he was like, hey, I think you're cute. And I was like, thank you. And instead of being all weird and him hitting on me, we talked about other things. I commented on, on his profile and he sent me some more memes and we kind of like traded back and forth with that. <laughs> kind of funny, I know. And we talked and we talked and talked and talked. And he was one of the only people who I talked to for a while because like everybody was busy with school and nobody was really online and uh, one day he told me he was in the hospital and I was really worried of course being I have a heart bigger than my chest and I care about everybody he told me he had cancer and I didn't think I of course got really sad about it and I told him I was sorry and I hope he gets better and he did start getting better after a while and I can't even count how many times he thanked me for I was all violent. The countless times he thanked me for making him happy because nobody went to talk to him when he was in the hospital. Like his family met up with him, but nobody really talked to him, talked to him. Um, and he said he was getting better, which was really good. And this was the span of a couple months. And then one day we kind of stopped talking because he wasn't, he wasn't really online. I sent him a few messages saying, hey, I was worried. Um, he came back one night and we talked about some about music. At the time I was really into like One Direction and slowly getting into MTR because of my friend Catherine. And he told me about the classical music he liked and I did listen to a couple songs that he recommended. Not really my style, but I it was nice. They were sweet songs. And not too long after that, he told me he was getting sick again. And of course I cried a bit because <laughs> at this point I was really attached and he was a really nice guy. And I found out he was like 30. <laughs> Strange. You usually don't meet 30 year olds on the internet that don't hit on you and be creepy and gross. But he was a really sweet guy. I can't remember if he's like Indian or Mexican. Uh, he was of one of those races. And he was really sweet and really kind, and we always talked. And then one day, we stopped talking again for the second time after he got sick again. And I felt really bad, and then I didn't think anything of it, because <laughs> I had more school to go through. And I was really worried about that because I wanted to get into this poetry convention thing that was in New York, and I was really worried about that. And um, I was just kind of, this, uh, at least six months went by. I had made new friends, I started talking to people again, I started, you know, blossoming into the weirdo I am, and I saw this post, and it said R.I.P., and it had my friend's name tagged, and so I went through his pictures, and I saw a lot of things of his last couple of days, and even pictures from when he was my age, and it really killed me inside, like, I never met this man face to face, and I never thought of him as a bad guy, he just wanted a friend. And I was there for him the last couple of <sighs> times he had, I guess. And that's my story. I, I'm really sad. Like, I forgot about this. This was, like, two years ago. And time went by, and one day I woke up in the middle of the night and remembered it. And I was like, why do I remember such painful things like this? Because it was heartbreaking. I did cry the night that I remembered about him. I cried the night that I found out he was dead. It was hard. It was, that was just a random story I wanted to share because I'm a loser. <laughs> um, if you want to hear more weird stories, things that I've gone through, comment below. Give me likes or something. I'm not begging. I'm a loser. It says it in the title and I believe it. Um, that's for all. That's that's all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't question the universe too hard, and I like your face. <laughs>